Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today we have tea in my Platinum Jubilee mug that was sent to me. I'm having some Earl Grey, which is a favorite. Mm, delicious. And Mr. Alex is here and he'll say hi. Okay, buddy, it's okay. Yeah, there you go. You say hi to our friends, yes. This is Mr. Alex. I don't know where Wellington is. I just got home. I think he's upstairs. All right, so I've been a little quiet last month. Things have been crazy. If you can see boxes, I'm getting ready to do, I, uh, I'm purging my craft room office space. I wanna get it painted and I wanna start fresh in there. So that's been taking a lot of my time. I got a promotion at work, so that has been taking some time. And I've been riding my bike a lot to get ready for Pelotonia, which I need to do with a video soon about the giveaway and what I'm giving away. Excuse me, sir, excuse me. But for right now, I went to the Dollar Tree and let's show you what I purchased. Um, I will tell you, uh, my Dollar Trees are getting all their back to school stuff. And right now they have a lot of Bic products, like name brand. So if that's something that you think you're gonna need, you might wanna start checking your Dollar Trees because I know that stuff goes first. Anywho, I got for Miss Luna, these little bones, they're rawhide free beef eaters, mini knotted bones. And these are chicken and vegetable flavored. And she likes it when I have little bones and treats for her. And she's spent a lot of time in the summer here with me while her mom is out doing fun things. Um, I grabbed some of these Glad snack bags. Now this is the snack size, I'll show you. Um, which again are great for back to school. These are the Ziploc brand and they're small. I love them. I'm actually using these to organize as part of my craft room organization. I have a bunch of floss, um, embroidery floss that I'm organizing. So I needed like 10 more of these. So nothing major, but I grabbed two. These are the seven bonus. So you get 29 bags. So not a bad deal if you're in there you know, ready for back to school stuff, like I said. Then they have this, which is, they're calling it a locker rug. And so it'll fit in the bottom. It's snipped together right here. There we go. Um, but it would lay, let me get this tag off of here. It'll lay in the bottom of a locker. So if you have a young one that, need, that has a locker, this is a carpet and it's supposed to mimic like a shag. Um, I'm using it for a dust cloth in my office upstairs because of cat fur. So I can spray this and I mean, it's the same material as a duster and I love it. But they had it in this color and a teal and it seemed like all the school supplies that I saw were in pastels, which I guess is nice, but also maybe the kids don't want pastels, but it's all like pastel colors. Oh, speaking of Bic, I did get one of these white out. Uh, I love these. These are all in black and gray though, but I don't care. I use it when I do my planning. So that's important. Um, I did find one of these. It's just the little sign thing, but I thought for fall, this would be cute to put some like wooden pumpkins back here and just make a little decor piece. It's not the one that lights up, which I'm perfectly fine with. You could also snap this apart and use them, but I like that it's double-sided. I'll paint it rustic-y and put some little pumpkins in here for fall. Um, speaking of, I did hear the manager tell a customer that they are bringing out their fall stuff in August that they should have it out. And I saw somebody on Instagram posted a picture from the Dollar Tree, like their setup and the Halloween stuff is supposed to be out by August 18th. So I don't know, but they had some cute, they're bringing that like um, Ouija board kind of fortune teller theme back this year. And I saw some cute stuff in the picture, but I picked this up. They had a couple different ones, but I liked the kind of rustic feel of the wooden sides and put some pumpkins in here. So we'll do that for fall. 
Um, also for Luna, I got her one of these chewy bones. She likes to chew on bones. This one is softer, but I give the boys treats fairly regularly, so I like to have stuff for Luna when she's here. So I grab these little individually wrapped things for her, and her mom brings her treats too. And then I grab these for my cousin Debbie. These are penny sticks, and these are the honey wheat. Um, this weekend coming up, we are going to downtown Columbus. So the Columbus Symphony does pop um, picnic with the pops um, downtown on this, like the commons. It's called. It's an open grass area, and um, we're, there's I think three tables we rented. My friend Kathy rented for us all. So it's all. Um, it is all gonna be potluck. I'm like, what's that word? Potluck. It's like potluck style. So for the picnic with the pops, you can either sit on the lawn and in that situation, you bring your own chair. You can bring picnics. People bring wagons full of stuff. The kids, you lay out picnic table or blankets and you just enjoy the time. And then the show starts in the evening and yeah, you can bring alcohol or whatever. Just they ask you don't bring glass and they ask that, you know, you be respectful which is not a problem for us. Now we, however, rented the table. So up front there's tables you can rent. And we, my friend Kathy rented, I have something on my toe, rented three of the tables. And so we're gonna all, there's like 24 of us, we're all bringing something different. But I grabbed these for cousin Debbie. She's coming with, sorry, my toe is not happy. So I'm packing, so she's a vegetarian. I'm packing for our contribution trail bologna, pepperoni, and different cubed cheeses, which I need to pick up the cubed cheese. So that's what I'm bringing. Um, other people are bringing all kinds of stuff, but I just wanted to bring her something because I love her. Um, I found this, which is the Power Stick brand. It's anti-chafe thigh cream. So I know a lot of people use deodorant for this. I was telling Sarah about it. I don't have an issue, but I wanted her to see it. It doesn't smell, but so I'm not sure why this is for her unless the men's one has like a fragrance to it. But it's like just you rub it on your thighs. And this has um, aloe vera and coconut oil in it or for like your underarms chafe if you're runner or, you know, different things chafe on your with your clothing depending on what fitness you're doing. And this is like a glide. Body Glide is really what it is. And it helps with like different chafing, depending where you're chafing. When I ride my bike, sometimes I have to use some of that uh, because my tags bother me. But I'm good this year. Okay, I found this book and I really am interested to read it. And it says, The World of Disney, A Wrinkle in Time, The Making of the Movie. Oh, I loved this movie. And I thought it would be super exciting to read read about how they made the movie and there's all kinds of pictures and stories in here that kind of just tell you the whole you know the story and this is a $39.99 book I'll read it and then I will pass it along to somebody but I mean that for a dollar 25 in Canada it's $51.99 ah, no thank you Okay, so like I said, they're getting their back to school stuff out. I grabbed one of these, which I think is interesting and I like it. And it's just little file folders. I mean, individual folders. So you get, and they're two sided. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets in here. And I grabbed two um, because I print off a lot of PDF patterns for knitting, crochet, cross stitch, all that. And I would love to be able to store them um, in these and then make them like seasonal. So I have enough that I can do 16 different patterns, you know, or, or seasons, um, you know, put them in the order in which I want to do them. But it's a good place for me. I'm peeling guys, you know me and my labels. I just want to make sure they come off. It's a good place for me to store the printed patterns that I purchased. Ah, why? Why do you have to do this to me? I don't still don't understand why we can't just why everything has to be stuck on here anymore. Come on. 
I'm getting it, please don't worry. I'm getting it off. And I also cut all my nails off because they were bothering me. Okay, here we go. It does come off. You just have to give it a little work. No sticky residue behind. Okay, perfect. So that is for me. Again, I'm doing craft room um, organization. And so I'm trying to find little things like this that can help me to put my stuff together. Um, I got some of this for me. It is zero sugar A&W root beer. Now, first of all, Dollar Tree, I don't often see the two liter bottles in there. And A&W is a name brand and it's zero sugar. So I bought two for me for the summer. I mean, I, I don't drink a lot of soda, but every once in a while I do enjoy a little, you know, a little bubbly. And I love A&W root beer. Maybe I'll make some homemade ice cream and then I can make myself a root beer float. I know. So I grabbed two of those for me just to have. I usually have like a little place by my back door that I keep all my drinks that I haven't put in the refrigerator. So I put them over there. So I thought that was exciting find. Um, I also got this one for Luna at a different store. And then this one is Busy Bone. And again, I mean, I just give her like one of these. She... She likes to hide her bones in plain sight, like in the carpet, and then gets offended when somebody looks at them and then has to hide it again, but then she'll eat it eventually. And this is just a uh, 1.7 ounce. These are two ounces. She will sit down and eat this in one go. So I have to be, kind of be careful how many I give her. So like these all go in the closet with the cat treats. Um, so there is two different brands. Canine Carryouts, which I think is a Dollar Tree brand, and then this is Purina. Now, Purina has a processing center here in Columbus, and there's also one in London, Ohio, or out that direction. So not surprised that we see stuff like that. But I love that they're individually packaged because I feel like they just stay fresh longer for her. I found this for Sarah, the Dipping Dots Birthday Cake Popcorn. So it is... It's canned. It's like sweetened popcorn. It feels like caramel corn, but it is Dipping Dots birthday cake flavor. How fun is that? I know. So I'm like, well, she needs that. Like, duh. My girl needs that. Uh, let's see what I got in here. I got to get this other bag open. Oh, and then I also got for Cousin Debbie some white cheddar popcorn. So maybe I'll take... I don't know. I'll see which ones of this she wants, which one Debbie wants, and then I'll give the other one to Sarah. But um, because I could take either one of these to the picnic with the pops for just for a snack for cousin to have. But I love that they're coming out. Sarah loves this um, sweet chaos. This is white cheddar, so I don't think this is sweet at all. I don't think it's like a kettle. I don't think it's like a kettle form. So I'll talk to Debbie and see of that, what she wants. I was just excited. Um, oh, and then I also found for Luna, apparently I'm going on a Luna craze. Um, this is the dental bone. I break these in half when I give them to her because these are a little large. These are like the greenies and they're just dental chews. And she likes those. And then I got her one big one of these. I used, I have in the past got her the little bags of these and she enjoys those as well. So I give her one of these two. So I have plenty of treats for her now, just to keep around, like I said, keep it around the house for her to have. When she's here, when I'm giving the boys treats, she deserves treats too. Oh, and I got her one more of these. Yeah, I thought I had more, I couldn't find them. And then look, I found them. Oops, it's okay. I got these, um, these are called book rings. You can do lots of things with these. 
if you have three ring binders, if you have, you can put, um, not three ring binders, but whole punch paper, you can make your own book. If you get the folders, like these plastic folders over here, but with the holes, you can put several together. There's many things you can do with these. I use them in crafting for my floss to keep everything together. But you can use these for a lot. And that's, this is a great value. So I picked up this bigger size for some of my bigger cross stitching projects. Um, oh, I found this in copper. I don't know if it's really copper or if it's just the copper color and it doesn't really matter, but they're coming out with um, these metal in different colors and I'm, I'm here for it because I think this is gonna be fantastic at Christmas time, which is what I'm gonna use this for something. Or you could use it this summer, 4th of July, whatever. I just like the, the different color. And I've seen they've come out with some words in this color that look like hammered metal. Um, so yeah, this is excited. This is the, the corrugated, so it's like textured. So I grabbed that for crafting. And I grabbed one of these for crafting. I want to burn with my laser burner something and then attach a cross stitch to it. And this is like a plaque. It is flat on the back, but I can put a kickstand back here so it stands up or I could put a hook to hang it on a wall. Um, but these are nice quality but wood for $1.25. I mean, that's a great deal. And then I got, they have this and it is nail art tape. So if you want to make like stripes on your fingernails. I'm sorry if that's blurry. But this is a small little ring, a little spool of it. I don't know if you can see in there. This is the gold. It's very thin, but you put it on your nails. And I think it's sticky back, and then you probably would go over it with like a clear polish. So these can be used on polish or natural nails. First place a strip of tape on your nail and design what you would like, then cut off the extra tape. Finish off the design by sealing it with a top coat. To remove the tape, soak a cotton pad or ball in nail polish remover. So you put it on your nails and any pattern that you want, and then you put clear over it. And they had it in gold and silver that I saw at my store. And I thought that would be so fun for the holidays, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Holidays. Holiday. I grabbed a couple more of these because I really like them. And these are plastic, but if you notice, they look just like the glass containers that they have. But these are plastic, and I've been using the one I bought for iced tea. And I thought I would take one to the picnic with something in it. And then maybe just keep water in one or make up some Kool-Aid or whatever. But I like these a lot and they hold 50 fluid ounces. So if you drank one of these a day, you would be almost to your 64 ounces of water. I'm just saying, you can make iced tea in these too, or sun tea even. Sun tea is a thing when I lived in Texas, you would put usually a glass jug and tea bags and put it outside for a couple hours and the sun would like warm up the water and it would infuse with the tea. It's kind of weak, but I kind of like it. I like, that's how I like my iced tea. Um, I grabbed one more of these because the boys broke, the boys, Alex, tried to get it off the counter and broke the other one. It dropped and he broke the lid. So I stole Luna's so that the boys had a lid and now I can, I have one for her and one for them. And it just says, per pets turn a house into a home. I love these, they're plastic. So they're not gonna break when he knocks them on the floor. I mean, they could break, but they're not glass break. And like I said, he broke this lid. So he must've went head first with it because he wanted them treats when I wasn't home to give them to him. Rotten cats. Um, oh, I grabbed one more of this. I love this. And it is only $1.25. The Dawn, yeah, the Dawn is like $5. And this is fantastic. I use it. It comes out like a foam. I use it um, regularly in my kitchen when I'm cleaning dishes or like my air fryer. I just spray this and let it sit for a minute. And then I go back and scrub it off with the brush. This stuff works fantastic. And this is the Palm Olive. And it is spray away. Spray, wipe, rinse. It's just soap, but it's the foam. Um, I love it. So I grabbed a second one because I have one that I'm using currently. And I thought, well, I need a second one because I'm going to be done with that. Right. All right.
right, let's see what I got. Okie dokie. Oh, yes. I found this. This is a small, let me take this label off. This is an adult small. The brand is LA Winner. This is a small medium, I guess. And it's a fitness shirt. It's the racer back fitness shirt and it's the stretchy. Um, it wouldn't fit on my big toe, but it fits my cousin or her daughter, Addison. And I found this in with the, just with the fitness stuff. And so I know they, the girls like these. Oh, there's a hole in it. So well, now I know why. There's a hole. Well, that made me sad. Somebody must have ripped the tag off of it. Well, shucks. I mean, she can wear it. I'll just tell her there's a hole, a little hole in it. She can wear it when she goes to the barn to feed the pigs. That I don't know why we're farmers because we are not farm people. People, just getting this stuff out of my way because my feet. All the dog treats that I went nuts on. Apparently, I went nuts on the dog treats. Okay, Sarah stuff. Oh, here, I'll put this in this bag and that. Okay. Next. I'm just emptying bags at this point. I found, oh, green beans. I need those for lunch tomorrow. I made green beans. Oh, I have to pack my lunch tomorrow, so I grabbed some green beans. Um, I did grab a couple of these Weilers. Um, these are eight packs. They have a peach tea. I really enjoy these. Uh-uh, Alex, no. He's scratching himself on my coffee table, on my end table. Um, I like these. So I got two of those and just a grape because I like grape. I have enough, but I didn't have those flavors. Sir, we're not scratching on my end table. Thank you. I don't know why he does that because he's bad. I picked up just some silverware. These actually are good quality. Um, they don't break as easy. I try not to use a bunch of reuse or non-reusable stuff, um, but this is for the picnic, and I, I think it's just going to be easier. I may even bring them home and rinse them off and use them again, but I thought these would be good for the picnic um, because I don't know how much everybody is going to need. And then I found these. Let's take our thumbnail, shall we? Perfect. These are popcorn bags. First I thought they were like lunch bags, which I'm all about, but no. These are like a popcorn bag. So you can fill them with like popcorn. But you could also put all kinds of treats or snacks in these, and I think they're fantastic, and I love the bag. And I believe, I don't think it's like wax coated. Nope, it just says popcorn bags, and you get eight of them. So these would be totally fun. But you know what else you could do in here, which I think would be super fun? If you were having like a bonfire, you could put a little s'mores kit in here with some graham crackers, marshmallows, chocolate, maybe the individually packaged or put them in the little snack bags, fold them down, and then everybody would have their own little individual um, popcorn bags or um, individual s'mores kit. I think that would be fun. You could put different stuff in there, but I just thought that would be a cool idea. I showed you my green beans already. Um, for my craft room organization, I grabbed some of this. This is no skid shelf liner. But when I will show you when I do my floss tube video, but um, when you try to stand up cello bags or like these, in my case, the snack size bags, they slide around in the box. But if you put this on the bottom, they don't slide as much and fall over. So I need to cut these down to the correct size for my box. So I grabbed two of those because I thought that's a good idea, friends, right? Um, I found, oh, I got some gum, some Trident, which is my favorite, and then some, or the Spearmint, and then this is Tropical Twist. That's for one of the girls, but I will open this and show you. This is a twin pack, 
or pocket pack, they're calling it. And typically, I'm trying to figure out how to get into it. Typically, they're charging us $1.25 for a single pack of this, but this is definitely, definitely more than a single pack. If I could get it open, I could show you. Oh, here we go. Um, maybe. We're a gum family and I love the mints. Here we go, okay. You'd think it would have a little thing, but it comes like this. So you have your trident and look at all that you get. And then it's in a little, and I bet you a business card would fit in here. But you get, I don't know how many pieces. It doesn't tell me, oh, 28 sticks. That's pretty cool. So I grabbed one for me and one for Sarah or Debbie. I got some sugar-free mints, speaking of, I got the spearmint. Yeah, spearmint and the peppermint, I love these. I don't eat a lot at one time because they do cause um, intestinal distress if you eat too many, but one or two is fine. All right, and then, I got a couple more things here. I found this eyeglass repair kit, but look at it, it's like a pen get it out of here. Oh, it should, I don't know if it should stay in this baggie, but it's not going to. It's in a plastic doohickey. I try to keep these with me, but I end up losing them because clearly I wear glasses. But this, you pull this end off and something, oh, it's broken. Maybe, I don't know. Well, up here you have screws. Oh, if you unscrew things, Oh, yeah. Oh. Screwdriver at that end. <laughs> that just snaps on. And that here, so you have, oh, so you have a flat head screwdriver up here. And on that end, you have a Phillips head, which is perfect for glasses size. This is work, getting this on and off. Please hold. All right. And then up in the here, right in the tip of the, is a couple screws. But these are great to have like in your purse. Sorry, my nose it just. These are great to have in your purse, especially if you're a glasses wearer kind of person, and I am. I found some ribbon and it's a fox drinking coffee and there's donuts and coffee. I'm sorry, what? It is a fox drinking coffee. Who doesn't need that in their life? Because I sure do. I don't know what for. Um, I found this and we're gonna try it. It is a jade eye roller. So we all know about the jade gua on and we know about the jade rollers. Well, this is an under eye roller. And I think what you're supposed to do is just rub it under your eye. And maybe it helps with like puffiness. It's very cold. So that's probably what happens, but you rub it under your eye and it's a miracle. I don't have baggy eyes anymore. And this is a little piece of jade in the middle. It doesn't roll, but you can roll it maybe on your wrinkles. I don't know. It just looked interesting, so I got it. And that is definitely a glass marble. And then the last thing I found are these Zebra brand colored pencils. They are actually colored pencils. So they're mechanical pencil with colored lead in them, which I love and find very fascinating. I also saw them in a multi-pack at one of the stores, but, oh, it's a nice fat, it is like a colored pencil. And then you, you just write with it. I got red and green. But like you can use these to color. It's a number two. It's called Zebra Sensation. And I know I was at one store looking for some friction pens, the ones that erase, uh, because I need those in my life. And I saw these sets. And they're also ergonomic, so they're triangular. So if you have somebody that needs like some really fancy colored pencils, 
But what I don't, oops, okay. Well, this one just, oh, they're numbered the color, not number two. But like this green one is broken, which is rude, because when I push it, it pops out at the bottom. I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but. Okay, so the number must be what color it is, because this is number three. Um, but yeah, those are fun. I think they have like four colors, some blues, red, green, black, yeah but I grabbed two just to try them out in my planner because you know I love my planner right and I think that is everything so I should be getting up with some more co um, regular content I will oh no it's not everything I saved the best for last lies Lori maybe these I'm trying to open this up maybe these will be my um thumbnail actually I got these were in a package just like this you get two linen towels the brand is stitch and weft soft goods by home essentials this is a kitchen towel two pack so you get this one with look at that scene with the country scene on the front. And then the second one is just the plain. And these are actual tea towels. So they're not, um, they're like a linen. It's cotton, but it's like a linen. And you use them, especially if you want no lint. And they even have the fancy bulbous pin holding the tag on. Definitely Christmas gifting these. So I got that set and then they had a set over here that says, but first coffee, duh, but first wine. So there's two different, isn't that crazy? I love it. And these are more of like a thick cotton. These are more like a linen tea towel. This is definitely 100% cotton, but it feels more like a flower sack, but nice and thick. I just think they're gonna be perfect for decorating. And this one here, I got two of this because I wanted one for me. This package with the tag and everything will go in a gift basket with a bottle of wine and some coffee for somebody. And this one, I'm not sure what, how, where it's going, but it's going first off back into its plastic bag because I want to keep it protected. We're a little early for Christmas, but I can tell you these were not a dollar twenty-five wherever they came from. I'm not sure where Home Essentials comes from, but I want to turn the tag over. There we go, so I can look it up. But the brand was Home Essentials. Is that Target, Walmart maybe? I don't, I'm not sure. I won't give them as gifts in the plastic, but I wanna keep them in the plastic for um, storage or storage. I love them. Now we're complete. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that Dollar Tree haul and you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.